Today's a really good day. We're going to my favorite place on the whole of Phuket Island. We've been looking forward to this for a very long time. reason we're so happy to be here and that's because we're picking up our new sails for Florence we are very excited <laughs> oh but we're not taking them back on the scooter don't worry about that in the last three and a half years we have sailed halfway around the world on our 37 foot boat Florence exploring new countries new cultures and sharing our adventure along the way. I am so excited about this. This is like Christmas. Roly Tasker have been incredibly generous and are sponsoring Florence with an entire new suit of sails, which means a mainsail, genoa, staysail and spinnaker. Not only that, but they are also providing new sail covers and a sock for the spinnaker too. Roly Tasker is one of the biggest sail lofts in the world, and if you haven't seen it, we gave a tour of the loft and the sail making process back in episode 70. What do you think of that, Amy? Oh, it's beautiful. This is our new stay cell. I've got Chike going grinning so much. I'm so excited about having this to play with on board. It's going to fit really well, we hope, between our storm jib, which we use when it's really windy, and our Genoa when it gets too windy for that. And probably lots of other times. It's time to get these sails back to Florence. The sails come with everything we need on them. The only thing we've got to do is put the battens in because we're reusing some of the battens from our old mainsail because there was nothing wrong with them. So these just slide in. With all the sails on board, we went to sleep like kids on Christmas Eve. Very excited at the prospect of playing with our new sails the next day. That's all of the sails onto the boat, including our new stay sail. And it's actually quite windy today, so we should be able to give that a good try out. Right, let's get some sails up. The plan today is to try lots of different sail configurations and test them all out so that we know what we're doing before we head off across the Indian Ocean. Got all three reefs in the mainsail and our new stay sail up. It's flat water, doing about four and a half knots so. How is it Amy? Yeah, it's really nice, really nice shape. 
We've never had a stay sail before. It's a smaller sail than Genoa, so it's used for better performance in windy conditions and to help prolong the life of our Genoa. We fly it from our removable inner forestay and it will store on top of the dinghy when it's not in use. It's not on a further like our Genoa, as that would have meant spending a lot of money on another further. So we have to go up to the foredeck to raise and lower it. So working through the sail inventory, we've got one reef in the main now and the stay sail going up wind in sort of 16 knots apparent. Probably a little bit underpowered. Normally we'd have full mainsail on a Genoa at this point. Mainsail looks absolutely fabulous. Really nice cut. Uh, the stay sail looks good, but I think it's slightly let down by the fact we haven't got the stay that it's on tight enough. So uh, when we drop the stay sail, we'll tighten up that inner four stay. It's got an adjuster on it. I'm quite excited about seeing the Genoa. You know, might be a bit too breezy for the spinnaker today, I don't know. It's, all, uh, it's just popping, popping up to 18 knots now. We wouldn't, well, we don't need a spinnaker in those conditions because France will go fast enough with just the Genoa, but uh, yeah, we probably ought to be sensible and wait for a lighter wind day to try the spinnaker for the first time. Now we get to try another sail. Next! We didn't think our old Genoa was that bad until we unfurled this one. It really shows up how our old sail had become stretched out of shape. This one is a slightly stronger construction, so it should hold its shape better. Now on to full main, and the main sail looks amazing. We can use now the outhaul because we've got a loose foot and it makes much more of a difference. It looks like the bottom two battens are a little bit tight, but we can easily sort those out when we go back. Lucky we've got some breeze here today to try the sails out. It's not been much wind at all, we've been doing a lot of motoring, but as soon as the new sails arrived, the wind arrived too. <laughs> we had to wait a few days for lighter winds to try the spinnaker for the first time. It was only blowing about four knots, but it was still a thrill to Ready? unleash the spinnaker for the first time. The difference between this and our old spinnaker is phenomenal. Our old one would struggle to fly in these conditions. This is really going to improve our boat speed across the ocean. Our old spinnaker is 35 years old. We had it checked by a friend who is a sailmaker before we set off and his words were, it will be strong enough to get you round but you are going to hate the shape. You would be better off with an asymmetric spinnaker. He was absolutely right, I did hate the shape of that old one and I do love the shape of our new asymmetric spinnaker. Thank you, Rolly Tosca! Well, that was great fun. The sails look and perform perfectly. They just fitted straight on the boat. First time, no problems. The only thing we've got to adjust is the batten tensions, which we had set, and that's normally an iterative process. You never get it right first time. And so now we're really looking forward to sailing with those sails more across the ocean, especially the spinnaker, and learning when to use the stay sail. Yeah, we've got 6,500 miles between here in Phuket and our destination across the Indian Ocean in South Africa. So lots and lots of opportunities to try them out. Whilst on the subject of sails and canvas, there are a couple of things that needed checking out before we were ready to cross an ocean. This is our spray hood. And on checking this, we found that some of the zips have been completely destroyed by UV. So we already knew the ones around the window were broken, but there are a few other places where the stitching was starting to go. The canvas itself is actually still really strong. So we dropped it into the Roly Tasker sail loft and they're really good. They've gone over all of the stitching. So it's got all new stitching. So it's really strong. They've replaced the zips around the window. And this is important because in the Indian Ocean, it's going to be potentially a lot rougher and we could have big waves coming over the boat and this spray hood protects both us in the cockpit and the hatch from those big waves and we didn't want it to fail when it get hit, gets hit by a big wave and we get a lot of water coming into the boat so hopefully this is now all fixed.
This is so much better. They've really reinforced the, the zips, the stitching and the Velcros um, also been replaced. And now we've got these webbing loops. So in bad weather, we can lash this down and it will give us a lot more strength if we get hit by a wave. So one of the next safety things to check on our list is our storm jib. We haven't been using this much through Indonesia and Southeast Asia because of the light winds, but it's probably something that we're going to need when we're crossing the Indian Ocean. So it's been stored underneath our forepeak, so we need to get it out and check that all the hanks are okay um, and just give it a once over. We fly this off of our inner force state, which is normally stored back by the shrouds, but we bring it up here and it's got a screw tensioning system, so it's good to check that works as well, which is good. So these hanks are the things that we're worried about. We're just worried that they might have corroded and stopped working. This first one seems okay. So they all seem to still work. Just the last three were a little bit stiff, so we're giving them a little bit of lubrication, but that's good. They're all pretty good, to be honest. Next time we put those sails to good use, sailing offshore from Thailand to Sabang on the northern tip of Indonesia, the first step in our Indian Ocean crossing. Thank you to everybody who supports us to make these videos possible, and especially to our star patrons. Alan Becky, Kate and Peter Adkins, John Bowler, Samui Yarvanen, Paul Stahlberg, and Robin Rima. We also want to thank Sven and the team at Rolly Tusker for our fantastic new sales. 